So I have a window tag, as you can see, and it's simply giving the number. This actually is a door tag. And it's I want it to also have the item uh, number there so that it corresponds with the actual window takeoff. So I've modified the uh, existing windows in this job to the actual windows that uh, the client purchased. And uh, so I need to add to this number here, T is for tempered. We're required to put that on for building permit uh, application. We have to identify which windows are tempered. Uh, so anyway, here's my door tag. If I click on that door tag and say, edit the family, Interesting. Here we go. All right. Here's my tag. And wait a second. I did a practice run before I did this, so it's already done. <laughs> but I didn't save it yet. Okay, so here we go. There's my um, door tag, edit the family. There it is. There's my family. So I click on the label. And then I come over to the properties box and say, edit the label. And all of these things are objects that you could uh, add to your label. And what I want is the type name. So I simply click on that, come over there. Now I'm going to get a mark and a type name in my uh, door. So now we load that into the project. I have uh, the right one selected here and say, OK and overwrite the existing, and there we go. And now I have my number and my uh, item, which is, uh, yeah, well, the number is correct. So anyway, if that helps you out, I hope it does. Uh, you can use it definitely, that'd be great.